Hey everybody, Josh from Populi here. Boy, people sure can be rude. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I sit down next to someone on the bus and start telling them about how I work for Populi and what Populi is, it seems like they don't care to fix. That's why it's nice to be here talking to people who wanna hear all about what Populi is and how it works. It's an honor and a privilege. Getting right into it, we're looking at the geography of Populi, how things are laid out. One of the defining elements of Populi's geography is roles. We've got an intro video on that already linked down in the description. Might be helpful to check that out before you dig into this video. We're doing a loose series of intro vids, so we'll also link those down in the description as we add them. We're gonna hit the big aspects of Populi's layout and not look into every single nook and cranny. We'll also link some helpful resources from our knowledge base down in the description if you wanna dig deeper. Sheesh, at this rate, there's gonna be a whole village of resources down in that description with its own economy and complicated political factions. When you first log into Populi, you'll land on home up here, and then home down here, and then on the dashboard here, you'll see alerts here. These are going to be automatically populated based on your activity or your roles. So if you work in admissions and your school receives inquiries, you'll see a notification up here. If you work in financial aid and you have overdue disbursements, you'll see a notification about that. We've got a feed for news. Folks with the staff role at your institution can add and manage news. So this is a feed that you control. Events over here on the right shows scheduled events over the next seven days. So for instance, students will see meeting times for their classes show up over there. Those are the basics for home. We're just waiting in, getting comfortable. What we're seeing on this line here with home, my profile, and all that is largely dependent on the roles that you have. I'm looking at this with the academic admin role, and they've got academics and contacts and communications. But let's have a quick look at how this appears to someone with the student role. Wow, much more simplified, but you can see that this student has a My Courses tab over here. Let's them look at their courses. Let's look at this with just a staff role. Boom, you get the idea. The layout changes with your roles. A few elements are consistent regardless of your roles. Up at the top here, we have files, which is where you can store files and share and receive files from other users within Populi. Then we've got calendar, and that'll show you classes, school-wide closures, and other events. You all know what a calendar is. Let's have a further look. We've got help over here with options like search the knowledge base, that you can use to find documentation and answer questions and contact Populi support, which will help you open a support request. Here, we've got the search button. You can search for all kinds of stuff, course instances, tags, etc. But the search is most useful for getting to user profiles quickly. All you have to do is type in a name, click on the result, and you're on the profile. It's that easy. Next to that, you'll have either your profile pic or your initials if you don't have a picture set up. Under that, settings is the important one here. If we click into that, we get access to all our settings. We have general settings, security, and notifications. We've got some sent messages with email and text messages listed down there. Now, and this will take us up a slight tributary on our journey. You might see something slightly different here if you are a Populi account admin, which we abbreviate as PAA. I'll switch to a PAA profile. If you're a PAA, you will see this as account and settings, and then you'll see these additional options down on the left. Those are just more things that allow you to manage the behind the scenes details of Populi. If we click into account settings, 
and then go to say security. That's where you can add other Populi account admins, or if we go to reporting, and then you'll see the master change log there, that's for the entire organization. There's all kinds of stuff here that you can manage for your instance of Populi. Other tabs that are generally available to you if you have the staff role. Contacts. It's a table that allows you to sift through all of the profiles in your instance. You can add a new person, that kind of thing. Communications. You can create mailing lists and email and letter templates. You can upload print layouts that will enable you to create receipts and shipping labels, communication type stuff. Okay, let's break out into some more specific areas. Academics, that's the domain of academic admins and registrars. That's the view that we're looking at here. When you go to academics, you land on the academic term. That's the center of things here. So a lot going on here, but we're mainly thinking terms, we're thinking course catalog, we're talking about course instances within terms, programs, degrees, degree audits, grades, grade scales, enrollment, all that. One thing that you'll find across different focus areas in Populi is that we generally have something like reporting here. These are big tables of data that let you sort and use complex conditions to create meaningful reports. Here we have the data slicer, which is going to allow you to pull data on anyone with an active or inactive student role. We have a bunch of other reports here as well. Because of the nature of admissions, it's a slightly different beast. It's mostly tables and reports. This is the domain of admissions admins and the admissions role. You have tables with your leads, that's anyone, anywhere in the admissions process. We have a table for applications. We have one for inquiries, etc. That's all so that you can see where folks are in the admissions process, who needs a nudge to complete an application, that kind of thing. Of course, you're also creating application forms and all that. And that's happening for the admissions admin over here under settings. Another highlight, we have this funnel report here, and that allows you to evaluate your admissions process and figure out where you're doing well and where things could be tightened up. Now let's look at financial. Financial admins, student billing, financial aid and donations roles spend their time on the beautiful shores of the financial section. You'll see that it actually exists in its own separate area outside of home up here. It's a different continent. We're looking at this as the financial admin role, and you can see we're looking at billing here with a table that would have pending charges if we had any. One of the big things to keep straight is that if you're looking at things with the financial admin role, settings shows up twice. It shows up over here, and that's really what we might think of as general settings, but then it'll show up under billing there. If you're in financial aid, it'll show up. Donations, it shows up there. So there are settings specific to each of those tabs. This user can see billing, accounting, financial aid, and donations, obviously. The other financial roles will see what's pertinent to them. Accounting is visible only to the financial admin, and that's where stuff like your chart of accounts and general ledger show up, and then all your transactions as well. We have two other major areas that your institution might turn on, the bookstore and the library. Links to those will pop up along the top here when they're enabled. Within the library, you have the catalog here. You can search and browse resources. You can see a list of patrons that you're able to then filter, and you can also see what's happening with circulation generally. On this instance, nothing at all. Library staff uses checkout and check-in to actually handle the behind-the-counter librarian work. Then we have settings over here available to this library admin role. They'll use that for setup and management, creating loan policies and all that. Over at the bookstore, we've got search, 
you would use that to actually find items. And we have a point of sale that handles transactions in the real world. Online customers get a shopping cart over here. And then we have admin, which is where your bookstore admin sets everything up and manages inventory and so on. Schwow. I'm trying to make schwow kind of a catchphrase. Gabe, with whom I work here, told me not to. He hates it. But I kind of have final cut on these vids. So good luck, Gabe. Schwow is going to be big. One more thing that's pretty important here is that all of this broader layout ends up being reflected in the composition of the profile. So as you'll know from the intro video on roles, profiles and what you see there ends up being affected by roles. Different roles grant different visibility and editing capabilities. So really these various land masses throughout the tool end up converging on profiles. So if you have a super user who has a bunch of the major roles and they go to a profile, they'll see things like the activity feed, the bulletin board, but also the info tab, which is really staff role oriented. The student tab is academic admin and registrar focused. Admissions should be obvious and so should financial. So all these different regions come together on the profile. Again, this video isn't meant to be fully comprehensive. We have other roles and other areas of populi. Advisor and campus life roles have their own tabs. There's more to see. Like I said, we're linking a bunch of resources down in the description so you can dig in there. You'll find our social media down there as well. Do you wanna dig deeper and get more value out of Populi for your school? Join our Discord server. It's where Populi users can ask each other questions and capitalize on community knowledge. If you wanna become part of that community, go to Help in Populi and choose Contact Populi Support to open a support request. Submit that with the subject Discord Invitation Request and we'll set you up. I've been Josh for Populi and you've been great. Thanks for watching.